he took my Winton. Took my Winton from me. He turned my son against me. Samuel L. Jackson has allegedly stirred the hornet's nest, generating a deafening buzz on the internet that could cause a rift between him and the embattled TV host Steve Harvey. Word on the street suggests that the iconic actor has made some unsavory comments about Harvey's parenting skills, and the fans are having a field day. I wouldn't have a problem with that, but I'd be that, heartbroken if that was my daughter. Yeah. And, and they're hanging out to, with Steve Harvey yeah. and her mom and everything else like to that. To each his own. But I, I would feel like fathers, I failed as a father. What did the Pulp Fiction star say? And how is it affecting Steve Harvey's family? Samuel L. Jackson is a global icon, a screen gem, and an action figure whose star power is felt worldwide. He has starred in some of the best works from Hollywood and is one of the most bankable movie stars. His face on the poster of a movie ad is a guarantee that the movie will sell out. Yet despite his popularity and worldwide acclaim, fans know little about his family. Many people don't even know that he's married with a daughter named Zoe Jackson. And and it is intentional. Though Zoe grew up in the public eye, accompanying him on the red carpet at several events, such as her father's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Jackson has kept her grounded and away from the public eye. His training methods have seen Zoe grow up into a fine woman with a great career behind the camera. So it wasn't surprising when the streets started gossiping that Jackson had gaslighted parenting skills, especially with Lori Harvey. An anonymous source alleged that Samuel L. Jackson berated Harvey, saying he had failed as a father to properly train his daughter Lori. According to the source, Jackson's alleged message came on the back of Lori, allegedly dating Diddy around 2019. At the time, Diddy was 49 years old and Lori 22. The couple was first spotted in Cabo San Lucas in Mexico on vacation, then later in Italy, where they dined with Steve and Marjorie Harvey. I think it's more interesting that Steve Harvey's there. Many fans thought that the 27-year gap between the rapper and the model was too much for a normal relationship. Many criticized Diddy, especially, for apparently taking advantage of his relationship with Lori's father, Steve, to date his daughter. Thus, Samuel L. Jackson allegedly felt that Steve Harvey didn't bring up Lori well, or else she wouldn't have dated a man who was old enough to be her father. Now, all these are speculations, as the couple themselves never officially confirmed the dating rumors, with Diddy's son Justin Combs giving hints of a possible relationship. However, fans think that Diddy has failed as a father, even if Jackson didn't say that. I wouldn't have a problem with that, but yeah, I'd be that, heartbroken that's... if that was my daughter. Yeah. And, and they're hanging out to, with Steve Harvey yeah. and her mom and everything else like to that. To each his own. But I, I would feel like fathers. I failed as a father. Samuel L. Jackson has always talked about how he feels about family and why couples should strive to stay together and work out their differences for the sake of their children. He once said in an interview that he was raised without a father and knew how hollow his life was, so he didn't want the same for his daughter. Fortunately for him, he married a woman who also shared the same vision about family, and together they raised a strong, independent black woman. In a recent interview with People, Latanya, the wife of Samuel L. Jackson, talked about the essence of staying together to raise their children. In the beginning, we always said the most revolutionary thing that black people could do was stay together, raise their children with the nucleus of having a father and a mother, since everybody likes to pretend that that's not the dynamic of the African-American family, that it's just children out here being raised by women, which we know is false, says Latanya. In order to change that narrative, we made a decision to say, we are going to stay together no matter what, we'll figure it out. Their family-centric approach to child training seems to have paid if you consider the squeaky clean image their daughter Zoe has carved for herself in Hollywood. During Zoe's 39th birthday, her father Samuel waxed lyrical about her, highlighting her amicable nature. Taking to his Instagram page, the iconic actor wrote, Your presence and persistence, lemon bars and streaming suggestions were lockdown gifts that made the year bearable. You always made me know things were going to be all right. Fans were excited about the message and wished the young lady the best in all her endeavors. They praised Samuel L. Jackson for raising a strong-spirited girl who brought joy and happiness to them and the black community. However, the same couldn't be said of Lori. As we mentioned earlier, many fans thought that Lori's relationship with Diddy was a complete mismatch age-wise. They felt that he was too old for the young girl, and Harvey shouldn't have allowed the two to date in the first place. One celebrity who echoed the fans' sentiments was Nick Cannon, who dated Mariah Carey, who was 14 years older than he was. In an interview with DJ Vlad, Cannon was asked his opinion about Diddy dating Lori, and he said that he didn't have any problem with that, but quickly added that were Lori his daughter, he would have felt disappointed as a dad. But I'd be that, heartbroken that's... if that was my daughter. Yeah. And, and they're hanging out to, with Steve Harvey yeah. and her mom and everything else like to that. To each his own. 
but I, I would feel like fathers... I failed as a father. Some even thought Harvey didn't support the relationship, but his hand was forced given his relationship with the rapper. Diddy and Harvey's friendship dates back to the 2000s when the rap mogul was at the top of his game. At the time, the East Coast-West Coast rivalry was at its peak, and Steve Harvey tried to intervene to bring peace between the two rival record labels. He even made Diddy and Snoop Dogg appear on his show, The Steve Harvey Show, together to show solidarity between the two feuding hip-hop giants. However, Suge Knight, on his podcast from prison, recently alleged that Harvey was a two-faced liar who pretended to want peace but secretly insulted the West Coast rappers. The Death Row Records CEO alleged that Harvey supported Diddy and the East Coast rappers, leading fans to surmise that the talk show host might be on Diddy's payroll. If that theory is anything to go by, then it isn't far-fetched to assume that Harvey couldn't prevent his daughter from seeing Diddy because he has benefited from him. Some even believe that the talk show host is using his daughter as compensation for all these years of being a beneficiary of Diddy's benevolence. What is more disturbing is that fans Lori appears to have dated both father and son. Lori was once rumored to be in a relationship with Justin Combs, the first son of Diddy. The two were pictured hanging together at parties and dinner dates, but they never confirmed or denied the rumors, creating room for more speculations. When the issue was recently brought up in the media circles, Lori denied dating both men. She explained that the rumors were all a misconception of the relationship that exists between the Harveys and Combs. She told Adrian Balon of E! News, I've heard I dated a father and son before. Absolutely not true, said Harvey. I've even heard that I'm a lesbian at one point. So, you know, there's been a lot of different things, a lot stories, a lot of misconceptions. Earlier in the interview, she talked about the various rumored relationships and how she found them entertaining. She explained she doesn't even know some of the guys she's been rumored to have a fling with. It's so funny because I'm so quiet. There's been so many stories that have been made up about me. I've seen stories about me being fully in love with somebody and we have this whole relationship and I'll see the guy and I'm like, I've actually never even met him before. Lori then shared a dating advice that her father once gave, telling her she was the prize. She said, that means not compromising my values, my happiness, my peace, not settling for less than what I know I deserve, and not being afraid to walk away from a situation if it's no longer serving me. Looking back on Lori's life, one can't help but notice the number of men she's allegedly dated. From soccer stars to movie stars, the model has seen them all. She's rumored to have seen of Memphis Depay, Future, Michael B. Jordan, Justin Combs, and Diddy, with Diddy being the eldest of them all. Fans who juxtapose Lori Hart Harvey's life with Zoe Jackson can't help but admire the good work Samuel L. Jackson has done with his daughter, which isn't surprising because the action star himself appears to have had a solid marriage that spans over four decades. He met his wife, LaTanya, in college, and the two went on to form an unbreakable bond despite the challenges they faced earlier in their relationship. At the start of their marriage, Samuel admits to being hooked on substances and not being emotionally present for his wife and daughter. His addiction got so bad that he had to move from the main house to the basement and only came up occasionally to do something weird and coiled back to where he came from. I had basically moved into the basement of our brownstone, he says. I was like the troll in the basement, and every now and then I'd come upstairs and hover around to do something. I was addicted and being crazy. However, his wife didn't abandon him even though his situation got worse by the day. She stood by him and helped fight his every step of the way. When asked why he didn't let go when it looked like Samuel was giving his life to substances, Latanyan said, I couldn't do that because I felt as though God had spoken to me and said, now, you can't leave this young man like this. Give him some help, and then, if you feel like leaving afterward, we'll talk about it. Today, the couple is happy parents of Zoe Jackson and proud producers of a drama series, The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray, on Apple. Samuel L. Jackson has held his family together for all this while, and when fans compare it to Steve Harvey's record of divorces, they see a big difference. Harvey has already been married three times in a span of 40 years, the same time Samuel L. Jackson has been married. Initially, the TV host married Marsha Harvey in a low-key ceremony attended by few people, as he was still a struggling comedian. Marsha bore the brunt of raising the kids on her own as Steve Harvey was mostly away trying to make ends meet. The pressure of raising the kids and managing the home all by herself 
coupled with Harvey's alleged infidelity, led to their breakup and eventual divorce. The divorce was finalized in 1994, and the two went on to date different partners. Not much is known of Marsha Harvey, except that she has released a few books and mostly likes to keep a low profile. Steve Harvey, on the other hand, went on to marry Mary Shackelford two years after divorcing Marsha. His marriage to Marsha would prove the most tumultuous, as the couple divorced in 2001. Later, Mary discovered a letter from Harvey's mistress, which upset her, and she sued the TV host for $60 million. According to the suit, Steve Harvey mistreated Mary, manipulated her, and cheated on her with several women. Unfortunately, Mary lost the case but gave the world a sneak peek of what it was to be married to the stand-up comedy star. Steve then married his longtime friend and current partner, Marjorie Elaine Harvey, who was married and divorced twice. One of her ex-husbands was convicted criminal Jim Townsend, who served time for attempting to purchase a huge load of substances. Townsend once claimed that Marjorie was complicit in his business, but he cut a deal with the FBI to leave her out of their crosshairs. Instead, the FBI raided Marjorie's business and shut it down with the claim that it was being run with ill-gotten wealth. Sadly, by the time Jim Townsend came out of prison, Marjorie was married to Steve Harvey. Out of anger and desperation, Townsend threatened to expose his ex-wife, but that would be a story for another day. Marjorie is the mother of Lori Harvey by another man, making Steve the adoptive father. However, fans don't think that is an excuse to neglect her or allow her to date people who are more than twice her age. Curiously, Diddy hasn't found success in any of the relationships he's been in so far. Ironically, a few of his past relationships have been fraught with alleged cases All the wrong reasons. Last year, Cassie sued Diddy for mistreating her, asking her to sleep with other guys while he watched, controlling every aspect of her life, and other inhumane treatments. The singer's lawsuit served as an eye-opener into the kind of lover Diddy was. Initially, Diddy denied the reports, but later settled out of court for an undisclosed sum. However, what he didn't know was that Cassie's bold move empowered four other women to sue Diddy for almost the same things as Cassie. This time, Diddy refused to settle, allowing the cases to take their full courses. It's not clear what will come out of the case, but even if Diddy is declared innocent, his reputation will suffer irreversible damage. But that isn't what most people are worried about. The fear among fans is that Lori might have suffered the same treatment as these women and may be shy or afraid to speak about it. It took Cassie about five years after their breakup to gather the courage to expose Diddy because the CEO of Bad Boys Entertainment apparently wields a lot of power. And if the allegation that Lori's dad, Steve Harvey, is on Diddy's payroll is true, then Lori might never speak up. This is why word on the street suggests Samuel L. Jackson thinks Steve has failed as a father. If he had played his cards well, Lori might not have seemingly ended up in the arms of a man old enough to be her father. For now, Diddy has a lot on his plate as he's been accused of S.A. and R. by four different women, and Lori is invested in her business. So, we don't know what the future holds, but some fans believe Samuel L. Jackson has been a great dad to his daughter Zoe, but can't say the same for Diddy. This brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching.